الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا ايتها النفس المطمئنه ارجعي الى ربك راضيه مرضيه فادخلي في عبادي وادخلي جنتي The mafoon to the latter part of the ayah, Allah invites you to enter into his gardens, the mutma'in soul, the souls which are at peace. Now, just to give you an example, may Allah reward everybody, people who we don't even mention. Um, may Allah grant them the highest of abode and, and accept our actions and the brothers who are working. Amen. So, inshallah, if Abu Hafs follows me this way, I'll try not to turn my back to you. Mm -hmm. Some of you brothers might know me, my name is Shakila, I'm a legal drug dealer. <laughs> These are parcels which has been collected over the past week of Hubs. That's right, yes. And in there there's everything. There's some people who give soup, there's Weetabix, there's sugar. Over there there's a thousand Quran. That's um, right, yes. They came from... They came from uh, Ummah in Need. Ummah in Need, subhanAllah. Yeah, from Manchester. Yeah. Jazakallah khair to them. May Allah accept all the actions here. There's, you know, there's, there's people who, who've literally gone shopping with what little money they could have, honestly, without them, we couldn't, we, we, we couldn't do this. Yeah, so, this is all food. Uh, there's Abu Isra, there's a brother Naveed, a deep, and the deep just run off into the background. <laughs> They're now going to spend till Fajr, inshallah, uh, af after I've gone home, <laughs> just packing this. Just obviously to reiterate, all of this is voluntary. 100% of whatever you're donating. So, even if it's just rice, yeah, 100% of it will go. For example, that pack has split. What we'll do now is we'll get this pack, we'll tape it up, but we'll buy another pack. Uh, exactly. That's that's how careful, because this is the amana that people are giving. So you can see there's lots of food here. Um, there, this was full of shoebox presents for, um, for, the, for our brothers, our sisters, our nephews and our nieces over there. They, alhamdulillah, have been packed so they don't get damaged. Um, you, you can see those boxes. Yep, in those large boxes, yeah. So there's 20 in each box. And if you just come from this way, this... Are you, are you okay? No, no, no. Um, they've been packed like that, ready for the container. If you look that way, now there's... Now there's, they're all clothes already packed, waiting for the container, inshallah, to come Saturday, which subhanAllah has already been paid for by donations from lots of brothers. Um, do you do anything need, need mentioning? Uh, yeah, yeah, subhanAllah. So, you know, that two and a half thousand pounds. Yes. Really, this is without even trying people through. Alhamdulillah. Allah's mercy, it's happened. They, they, they want to enter into those gardens. That's right. Just in a period of over three days, we raised the money for the container, alhamdulillah. So there's a sister who, for example, she literally uh, went to uh, to Tesco's in Nottingham, Nottingham Islam. That's right, yes. Um, she, she, do, she donated to Nottingham yeah, Islam, yes. Spent hundreds of pounds and just bought whatever she she felt that was required over there. And it, inshallah, it will all go to use. Mm -hmm. Another sister from Derby, um, I believe Western Road. Yes, Western Road Masjid, that's Western right, Road yes. Western Road Masjid has donated 300 bottles of water. Um, again. You know, some of the things that we take for granted, salt, a lack of this salt in um, in some of the people in Sham will cause dehydration, go into a semi-comatose state, especially if they're children, and then after that, you know, Allah is the giver of ajr, a very painful, excruciating way. This probably 20 pence worth of salt, yeah, 20 pence worth of salt, inshallah, may be a means of just giving that, that child better health. Uh, behind here, there's a probably um, yep. each of these sacks of 30 kilograms. They're full of clothes. Now, some people may say, "Look, clothes will go there; they'll get dumped to one side." The brothers who went there um, in their own time and their own money last time to, to distribute. One of the feedback they brought back, and this is from the ground in Sham. Some of the sisters were saying, "Look, our stomachs can remain empty, but we have little food to eat. One thing we need to cover ourselves is clothes." Some of them were unfortunately having to wear their husband's clothes and they were even sharing clothes between them. So subhanAllah, this, this, this is tons and tons of clothes. If you can get into that corner, yes. these clothes, inshallah, if the container has space, we will sort out and pack into boxes or pack into stronger bags and 
send as many as we can. Sure there enough. must be, uh, correct if I'm wrong, I'm wrong here, mm. there, you know, there must be 500 bags of well, clothes. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, 500 are well over, has, definitely. Has been gathering and bag, uh, uh, gathering. Even today, a sister stopped me today and said, look, I've got these two bags. Now, there seems to be a, a bit of a feeling that, look, you know, the Apna uh, clothes, so the Salwar kameez, whatever, they don't wear that in Syria. They can use those, yeah? Please don't just, I've seen some sister said she was chucking them away because they don't use them there. Any clothing you feel that is suitable, or if not even suitable, we sift through it, we make sure that nothing is wasted, inshallah. inshallah. Right, we'll go through to the back. Now, so, these are more roll cages of food, which the brothers are going to spend tonight packing. Uh, this was a full, a full page. These brothers, subhanAllah, there's a thing, and there's Walid, whose permission I haven't got to film, but I'm doing it anyway. And there's a brother in the back there called Usman. He's, he's uh, subhanAllah, hidden behind the door. Very modest brothers. These are shoebox presents. So I'm just going to turn this around. Each, there were, how, many, how many roll cages, guys? Five roll cages like this? About five, six years. Where people have just spent time filling what? Are these, are, these, are, these all, are these all shoe boxes, yeah? They're yeah, all yeah. shoe, shoe yeah. boxes already packed. Now, it's things like this where you think, why are they sending things like this? But I'm sure Abu Hafs and the brothers who have been there on the ground, they will be able to, to verify and witness the smiles that it brings definitely, definitely. to the young children. I mean, look, subhanAllah, Allah blessed me with a, 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 a boy and a girl. And, and I know even when I take something as simple as this to him, you know how much of a smile it brings. And remember, these people have lost everything, their homes. Some of them have lost parents. Some of them have lost, subhanAllah, their sanity. So we won't be able to solve their problems through this. However, rather than feel helpless, let's try and unite our efforts and really help our Muslims in need, inshallah. This is one of the other rooms that's going to be used to sort out things. Now this is another warehouse, part of the warehouse. We want to see this full, inshallah. Yeah, if there's anybody out there who you think, look, I've got, I've got a big cash to carry, and there's one week's or two week's worth of stock left where I'm not going to sell it and I'm just going to have to pay to have it taken away. Don't pay to have it taken away. We'll send two vans, it'll be bought here, it'll be recorded like this. Um, and inshallah we'll make use of it. Is there anything else you want me to add? So may Allah accept all our efforts. Anything we do which is good is from Him alone. And anything which is bad is surely from us and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. May He accept our actions again and keep us, us, us humble and subservient to Him. And please, please, especially with Ramadan coming, yeah? Remember that ayah at the beginning. If we want to hear that ayah when the soul is taken from our body and we want to hear the ayah that I mentioned about the mutma in the soul and how Allah invites you, tells you to come into the gardens and live there forever, let's make tangible actions towards that goal. If you have nothing, if you have nothing and you think, I really wish I could give something, get in contact with us. Honestly, please just help us come and back. Yeah? A minimum, please make dua for us that Allah keeps us steadfast and when we're going wrong, He corrects us through His mercy. Jazakumullah khair and forgive me if I've said anything wrong.